Hello everyone. Today we'll do a problem on branch accounting. So as you can see, we have a simple problem here. First, we'll go through the problem and try to solve this. Akash Company, Chennai, has a branch at Bangalore. All the goods required for sale at Bangalore are supplied from Chennai at cost price. So cost price here is very important. Why? Because they are sending the goods on cost price. They have they are not adding any profit margin. And all the cash received at the branch is banked daily in the head office account. From the following particulars, prepare the branch accounts in the books of head office. So we have stock on 1st January 2019, data, petty cash and furniture. So these are the opening balances. So opening stock, opening data, opening petty cash, opening furniture. Next we have goods invoice to branch. This means the goods are been sent by the head office to its branch. Goods returned to head office. 5000 is returned to head office. The next we have bad debts 500, cash sales 7000, total sales 174500, sales return 2000. Then we have branch expenses paid by head office. So let's see what are the expenses paid by head office. First we have rent, salary, sundry expenses. So these are the expenses. Next we have allowances to customer. So these are the allowances given to debtors. Next we have petty cash expenses made by branch 1200. Next remittance to branch for petty cash. So 1400 is received from head office to branch for petty expenses. Next we have stock and debtors on 31st December 2019. So these two or closing balances of stock and debtors. Next we need to charge depreciation on furniture at 15% per annum. So as you can see this is a simple problem. Now let's try to solve it. So we need to do working notes and some calculations before going to the main problem. So first we have to do calculation of closing furniture. So working note number one calculation of closing furniture. So here we have opening furniture as you can see we have opening furniture and opening petty cash but closing furniture and closing for petty cash is not been given so we have to calculate the closing furniture and closing petty cash so first closing furniture so opening furniture so opening furniture as you can see here it is 28000 28,000 plus purchases. So in this problem we don't have any purchases. So nil. So same we will carry down 28,000. Next minus depreciation. So in this problem as you can see we have 15% depreciation. So 28,000 into 15 by 100. So it will be 4200 so if you minus this we'll get 23800 so closing furniture is 28300 next petty cash so opening petty cash is 450 rupees next received from head office so here we can see remittance to branch for petty cash 1400 next petty expenses made by branch so here petty expenses so first we'll add this 1850 so petty cash expenses 1200 so if we deduct this we'll get 650 so closing petty cash is 650 rupees. Next we have to do memorandum of debtors account. So we need to draw a normal ledger here. So debit and credit here. Now balance bought down. 
opening datas opening datas you can find at the be beginning of the problem so 56500 56500 next cash collected from datas so as you can see we ha don't have cash collected from datas here so we will leave it for now next credit sales so we have cash sales and total sales but not credit sales what we can do that we can use these two information and find out credit sales so normally total sales is equals to cash sales plus credit sales cash so credit so cash sales plus credit sales we have total sales and cash sales not credit sales so for this we can uh, for credit sales the formula goes like this so credit sales equals to total sales minus cash sales so that's equals to so total sales we have 174500 minus 7000 so that will be 167500 next we have closing balance so closing balance is 97550 so normally in memorandum of data account these four entries are very very important so opening data closing data credit sales and cash collected from data so these are the very very important four transactions why because among these four transactions, one will be missing. So as you can see in this problem, cash collected from data is missing. Next, we will do the further transactions in this problem and the remaining balance amount will be taken over here. So next we have bad debts. So bad debts of 500 rupees. 500 rupees. Next, we have sales return. So sales return 2000 so sales return is different from goods return to head office so here goods are being returned from branch to head office here the customer are returning back goods to the branch so this is different from this one so we need to take sales return from customers so sales return 2000 Next, allowances to customer. So allowances to data or allowances to customer. In some problem, we'll get allowances to data. In this problem, we have allowances to customer. Both are same. 2500. So further, we don't have any entries regarding this. So what we'll do is, normally we'll get a debit balance. Means the debit side will be more than the credit side why because we have a missing transaction here so we'll total this side 2 lakh 24000 so okay from 2 lakh 24000 we'll minus all these four transactions we will get 1 lakh 21450 so this will be the balancing figure okay why because this was not given in the problem we found out the value of the cash collected from data so as for now we have completed all the calculations needed for this problem so now we'll go for the main problem as you can see the basic transaction has been recorded already the headings are very important in the books of akash company chennai so in the problem it will be given the name of the company and uh, the head office the place of the head office so it should be written at the top in the second line we should write down which branch account it is so here it is Bangalore branch account so as mentioned in the question we have written the same thing so let's start the problem first you come to the debit side so debit side we have opening balances so opening balance of branch stock branch data branch furniture and branch petty cash so in the problem we can find in the beginning we have branch stock which is 
39,500. Next, we have branch data's 56,500. Next, we have uh, furniture 28,000. Next, petty cash 450. Next, we have to write down the goods sent to branch. Here in the question, we have it here goods invoice to branch, which is 1,25,000. So, 1,25,000. Next, to bank account. So, here in the problem, we don't have a specific bank account. What actually it means is the branch expenses paid by the head office. So, when the head office pays the branch expenses, like rent, salary, sundry expenses, normally the expenses are sent to the branch account. So, that's the reason we'll write it as bank account. So, here we'll take down rent, rent 7,000, like salary 7,500, like sundry expenses. Three thousand five hundred, and we should also include remittance to branch for petty cash. So, thousand four hundred, which we are receiving from head office for petty expenses, even that has been sent through bank. Petty cash thousand four hundred. So, we'll total this one. So, it will come up to nineteen thousand four hundred. So that's it on the debit side. Next, we'll move on to credit side. Find it as cash and few as bank. So here, as we can see, all the cash received at the branch is banked daily in the head office account. So that means whatever the cash received by the branch from sales or from collection from data, it has been remitted to head office through bank. So instead of cash account, we can write it as bank account. Okay, so by bank account. So we have two bank account here in this problem. One will be on the debit side, one will be on the credit side. The first one, cash collected from debtors. So cash collected from debtors, we don't have in the problem, We ha but we have it in the working note or memorandum of debtors account. So here, so here it is 1,21,450, 1,21,450 inner column. Next cash sales, so cash sales we have it here which is 7,000. If we add these two, we will get 1,28,450. So bank account total is 1,28,450. Next, goods returned by branch. So here we have 5,000 goods returned to head office or goods returned by branch, 5,000. So that's it. Next, we have closing balance. So opening balance will be on the debit side and closing balance will be on the credit side. Here, the first for the first two transactions, which is brand stock and branch data, we have closing balances given in the problem. So we'll write that down. So closing stock, 42,000. Closing data, 97,550. Now furniture. So closing furniture, we don't have it here. We have it in a working note. So working note number one, closing furniture, 23,800. So we can write here, maybe working note number one. Working note number one, that's how we got the value for this one, 23,800. Next, branch petty cash. So branch petty cash working note number two, 650. So working note number two, 650. So that's it. What we have to do is we have to total on the both side and see which side is 
more okay so when we total on the debit side we'll get 2,68,850 on credit side we'll get 2,97,450 so that means credit side is more so if credit side is more means we'll have the profit so first we'll write 20 2,97,450 so difference amount will be 28,600 as we got the balance on the debit side or as we, uh, we can say the debit side is lesser than the credit side so it will be sent to general p &L account considering this to be profit So, from Bangalore branch account, Akash company of Chennai is getting a profit of 28,600. So, this is the whole problem. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. I will try to come up with new problems on regular basis. Thank you.